welcome back to my channel it always feels so weird to me like putting videos up again because I usually put videos like once a year but that is my bad I'm such a busy bee nowadays that I just uh, I'm slacking and I've been slacking for like a good year now so that's my bad but hopefully from the title of this video you guys are as excited as I am hopefully in the near future my decision to do this um, doesn't go in vain so um, as you guys can read from the title I am going to be getting a boob job and I am getting a breast lift with silicone implants but before I get into that if you are new to my channel hello my name is Isma Rice. I am a weight loss patient I had weight loss surgery um, specifically I had the VSG which is the sleeve I had it done in December of 2016 so I am officially two years post-op my highest recorded weight ever was 270 pounds and my current weight is 140 pounds meaning that I had a total weight loss of 130 pounds and I have maintained my current weight for around a good year now so I did lose a little bit of weight I dropped all the way down to 135 but I looked a little bit way too thin and I didn't gain a little bit of weight back just pure muscle so you know I had to compensate a little bit but I have maintained my weight at around 140 okay now before we begin anything do you guys like my new hair color I know I was I was blonde officially when I started my YouTube channel and then I went into a little bit of a brunette hairstyle and then I went to a redhead and now I'm slowly transitioning back because I'm trying to go fully blonde but what I officially have I've had enough for I think a month now I have a full head of highlight and I have this little reddish brunette going on but either way as you guys know I have always been very open and I love to share my journey with you guys in regards to weight loss journey, I don't really lose any more weight. Like I said, I have maintained myself for around a good year or so, around 140 pounds. I know some of you have contacted me in doing um, what I eat in a day video and try on hauls from just to see how clothing suits me and stuff like that. And I am planning those videos. It's just that since this whole ordeal came into motion I've been very busy especially now um, with work and finals you know but hopefully now in this new year I have a couple of videos already stacked up for you guys so just wait on for that okay and thank you guys that have kept sending me messages and always spreading so much love to me I love you guys so much now of course one of my favorite things to do is to show you guys before and after results because that's just what I mainly look for when I was you know searching on my weight loss journey or searching for you know my breast augmentation journey and that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video today so I'm gonna be going very in-depth on the girls so I might get demonetized but I will be showing you and will be as open as I can of course keeping it PG okay so let me reposition this a little bit so you guys the girls right now are currently in a push-up bra this is my favorite bra and I literally always wear it it is the Victoria's Secret bombshell bra some of you might know it some of you don't what the bombshell and why it's so special is because it adds two full cups to your breast Meaning if you're a size B and you wear this girl, it bumps you up all the way to a size D. And if you're a size A, it bumps you all the way to a size C, just so you guys get like the gist of it. So currently I am a size B, but my breasts are mainly tissue. There's not a lot of fat in regards to my breasts. They're just mainly skin because once you lose 130 pounds, your skin is obviously going to change. And in regards to fat in my breast, I hardly have any fat. My breast mainly consists of tissue and it's very thin skin that I have in my breast. Sorry, so I just repositioned you guys a little bit. So like I was saying, my breast tissue is very thin. I don't have any fat in my breast area. And in regards to that, when I spoke to my surgeon about, you know, what sizing I was wanting and if I needed a, a lift. My surgeon was, first, you definitely need a lift. Um, gravity did you bad because 
you don't have any perky breasts anymore. And because you lost so much weight, you don't have any fat, so in regards to sizing, I would keep you at a moderate, normal looking size. I wouldn't go too big because your skin would not be able to handle it. So in regards to sizing, my surgeon um, said that he would put me at a 350cc high profile, I believe. So that one is, so this is your, how do I, how would I describe this? So why, <laughs> I'm so dumb. You see, this is why I haven't like recorded a video in so long and sometimes I just forget. I can literally, I was trying to like, just like show you guys with my hand. I can literally put pictures right here so see this is the difference between breast implants this one is more of a high profile which is the one that my surgeon is recommending which is that the from what he explained is that right on the upper part is there's more definition there so the implant is going to go under the muscle in my case and in regards to that it's because my since my skin is so thin he can't put it over the muscle either way and either way the majority of surgeons put it under the muscle in regards to sizing like I was saying he chose um, 350 cc and he told me if he could he would bump me up to a 375 so let me show you my breast so these are my breasts like I was saying I am a size B and I am currently wearing the Victoria's Secret bombshell so it appears that I have a full C cup or a full D cup at the moment. These are my breasts with a push-up bra. And right now I am going to show you the situation with the bra that I usually wear, for example, to work, which is basically a bralette. So it has no padding like this bra. So this is what it looks like with just the bra. And not the little crop top and then now I'm gonna switch over to my bra leg. okay guys and then when I don't have any push-up bra this is what my boobs look like so as you guys can see I do not have a lot of breast I barely have any breast and that is why I am mainly getting a breast augmentation apart from getting the actual lift because obviously I cannot show you how the girls look like without a bra because this video would get taken down but my areola or the nipple area is supposed to be sitting right on top here and mine are sitting right here because of course my breast tissue is just they're just sad little girls at the moment so obviously your girl isn't working with a lot at the moment okay so guys my actual surgery date is tomorrow I am still waiting for them to call me because they haven't called me yet in regards to a what time I have to go in to check in for my surgery so I'm hoping that I get an early morning I don't really want to have surgery in the afternoon but if it comes down to having it in the afternoon can't do anything about it so I will check in with you guys if it's not tomorrow in the actual surgery area I will be checking in with you after I have the surgery so let's see what comes up next